Well, what's up guys, it's Will Henry Outdoors Channel, and today we are going to be going over my tackle bag. You guys know this tackle bag, but as a couple videos ago I made about um, what lures I bought at Field and Stream. And I'm going to be going over how I set up my bag and what's inside. Uh, the first box on top is my main box. There's two different consoles. There's the, where you want to keep, I keep my fly box in the back, backpack, and then I keep uh, my scale and waters back there. But right here, and this zipper are the same pocket, and I keep my swim baits that are in the plastics up top. Okay, I cannot open it like that, because I have so many soft plastics. Oh yeah, I gotta show you guys that. This little zipper is like a thermal thing, so your soft plastics won't melt in the hot, the hot, the heat. Um, I don't really have to close that, but so if you come over here, you open up this first box that pops out. This is my my normal box that I keep. Um, it is my bottom baits. It's the one I use the most. As you can see, we got spinner baits and chatter baits and jigs right here. Um, hard baits are over here, and then I have my weights and my hooks all right here. If you can't tell, I'm very organized. Um, this is I've had this tackle bag for probably I don't know, probably a year and a half, two years now. So, and then next is my top water box. So I keep top waters in here only. Um, that's the only thing I'm organized about. I only keep top waters and one box and bottom baits and hard baits in one thing. And then I keep my soft plastics in another thing. That's the only thing that's organized about me in my tackle bag. Yeah. Can't talk today. And then so as you can see from the tackle and bagging video, I went on a spending spree and I bought a few baits. And by a few, I mean a lot of baits. Yes, that's the only thing I spend my money on usually, are baits. There's still more, and then I just have some other weights. But yeah, I usually I usually just buy soft plastics more than I do hard baits or anything because these ones are well, soft plastics are cheaper and they're harder to get snagged on the way you rig them. So I don't really like spending my money if I'm gonna lose the lure. So I don't really buy hard baits or jigs or spinner baits as much as I do with soft plastics. Uh, but I do like throwing my crankbaits and my spinner baits and my jigs. So usually if I get it snagged I try to get it back as much as I can and it especially helps me when I'm in my kayak trying to get them back. Um, and yes, when I was gone from making YouTube videos I moved into a new house if you can't tell. I have my rods, my hats, and more rods and I keep my tackle bag up there. Um, that's about it. And I just got a nice, decent little room. I was, this is my first time ever seeing these when I bought them. They look really realistic, though. That's the only reason I got them. They are called the Cream. It, this is called a 6-inch scoundrel. Scoundrel, however you want to say it. I'm not very fluent in English, even though that's my only, um, that's the only thing I know how to speak. Yeah, I know, this is going to take me a little bit to shove everything back in here. Well, it did take me a little bit to shove everything back in there. But, the girth, that is all baits. And, yeah, that's where I keep everything. And this, according to lures. Now say this pocket this is just the random pocket and 
I took out my dividers and I shoved them in there so just in case if I'm on the water or I buy some baits, I can throw them in there and they'll be fine. And I got some random hook with like four pound leader on in there and the side pockets. I usually keep pliers or some stuff in them, but in this pocket I have my pee line for clear for fluoro clear in that pocket and I don't even know what's in this pocket. I think I have trout bait. I have scissors and that's it. That's all I have in here. Just some scissors. And well obviously you need scissors but I need to get new fishing pliers. I used to have fishing scissors but I dropped them into the water when I was kayaking. Which is fantastic, isn't it? Um, now that that's over with, like I said, I moved into a new house, and, well, I'm going to show it to you. So, if we come over here, you guys know, this is my room. It's nothing much, just a good old messy room. And then we come out here, walk in my door. Oh, geez, it's dark out here. I have my brother's room. He's never here, so just a big old empty room basically and shoot can't even show off the light uh, you guys can't see nothing in here man uh i need to go turn on the light um we'll just go into here this is the kitchen you know nice fine kitchen i cooked some taquitos and some cheese curds today microwave coffee fridge essentials canned goods Back door, boots, heater, everything you need. My brother, my sister, and her boyfriend, and me. Yep, classic, right? And we have a bathroom right here. It's a bathroom, you know. Uh, that's probably the cleanest room in the house. Then we have the living room here. As you can see, you got TV and the Xbox hooked up. And then come over here. Where are you going, Layla? And then there's my dad's room in there. Fancy barn door on that bathroom, though. He has a master. Um, this is the first time of you guys seeing my house. Um, besides the old house that you guys know of, because you guys see me walking around in it a lot. Um, this house is, I like to say, way better because the people that live in it now, they have a lot of problems with that house. We didn't cause them. It was just the foundation was running really old on that house, so it was about to crumble. That hasn't crumbled yet, but the, um, the pipes up in the, um, upstairs, the bathroom pipe was busted, so I taped it with electrical tape about 400 times. Um, and got to get that splash, you know. Um, I take that. Yeah, I take that a lot, so it wouldn't leak and cause damage to the room that was under it, which at the time was my brother's room. Uh, ugh, excuse me. And um, so yeah, I'm glad we moved out of that house. Um, so, moved out of that house, and moved into this nice house, I like it. Um, it's a pretty decent house, I like it a lot. Um, now you guys know my whole setup, and everything. So, you guys know what's in my tackle bag right here, I'm just going to go ahead and hang this up. This is the hardest part, is just hanging it up so it doesn't fall on top of my rods and knock them down. But I'll show you this one more time. I, got, I have my spinning rod, my moving bait rod and reel, which is an Abu Garcia and then a South Bend rod. And that's a Shakespeare reel, and I don't even know the rod. That's sad. I don't know. A quantum. I got this from my friend Wyatt, which you guys know. You guys seen him in the videos. 
And then I have the fly rod that my uncle gave me. That is a Shakespeare reel with a... I don't even know the rod. I can't pronounce it. But then I have a Berkeley uh, reel with a TWS series. Uh, no. Ugh. Scratch that. TWS series reel with a Berkeley rod. And then over here I just have my trophies, a couple airsoft guns, and I have my dog Lucky. And my boot box and my boot cleaners and everything. And that's about it, guys. And it was pretty a boring video. I didn't really have anything to film, and I haven't filmed for you guys in a couple of weeks. So I'll see you guys later. You guys have a good day, and I'll see you on the next one. Happy.